Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center. It's Saturday, January 20th, and you are tuned in to HCAM for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey as they welcome in their crosstown rivals, the Ashland Clockers. Ashland at 5-4-2 on the season. The Hopkinton Hillers, eight wins, one loss, and a tie. Tom Nappy and Eric Carty on today's broadcast. Tom Dings is our cameraman, and it is our pleasure to once again bring you Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. The Hillers, Eric, have been very impressive lately. They are on a four-game winning streak. It all started back on January 6th with a 4-2 win against Dover Sherborne, and then on the 10th, an 8-0 win over Dedham. Then on the 13th, a 5-3 win at Medway. And then on the 17th, a 4-1 win at Westwood. But Eric, the Westwood win, it came at a cost to the Hillers. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, two big wins there against uh, Westwood and Medway. But uh, unfortunately, they lost their senior captain, Owen Delaney, to a broken collarbone, which uh, really hurts him. He's one of their top offensive players and also on the, the penalty kill. But the good news is a lot of good young players here, and it's that next man up mentality. And um, someone will fill in, and it'll be okay. And replacing Owen Delaney is certainly not easy, but if anybody can do it, it's this Hopkinton Hillers team. They are just loaded with talent all throughout this roster. And Eric, it seems like they can put just about anyone on the roster into the game, and they're going to have it in effect. Yeah, they've got a great, you know, great system, great top three lines, and they've got uh, some good role players in there. So this will be a good one to watch. All right, we're going to send down to ice level now to pick up the public address announcements.
And we are just about ready to get started between the Ashland Clockers and the Hopkinton Hillers. Ashland on a two game losing streak. They lost to Hopedale and Medfield in their last two. And Eric Ashland, they need to get their act together fast with how competitive the TVL is this season. Yes, they do, but uh, you know, they've had some good uh, games. They tied Holliston, who's uh, been a powerhouse in the Tri-Valley. And to get this game here with these kids playing each other with youth hockey, with each other in youth hockey, the Demons, they, they always get up for this one. So I'm sure they'll be up for their I challenge. Think, yeah, I think so. I think we're going to have a good game on our hands today. Let's take a look at the starters for those of you that missed it. For Ashland and goal, Michael Lode. Jack Merrill, a defenseman. Jackson Horning, a defenseman. At center, Michael Berman. The right winger is Trenton O'Connor. Left wing, Nicholas Fish. For the Hopkinton Hillers, Matt Lindquist and Andrew Gilbert are your defensemen. Dylan O'Leary in net. Steven Simos, the left winger. David Sloan, the center. And right wing, Will Abbott. And we are underway here at the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. Over to the near side we go as Simos giving a hard hit there. Sloan trying to take control. We'll have a whistle right off the bat. And actually the clock didn't start either, so that could be an issue. And I think that's what the stoppage was about. So they got to reset the clock. There we go. 14.50 left to go in the first period. Well, that's always a uh, rough thing to have happen. That's stop right off the yeah. bat. Looks like the Hillers were coming out flying, too. It kind of breaks the momentum right off the bat there. So we'll have a face-off in the Ashland zone over on the right circle. It'll be Michael Berman going up against DJ Sloan. Yep, Sloan moving up to the first line center slot there. Place Cer of Owen. Certainly well earned too. Yeah, they've, he's been playing great. He's showed some great speed and he's been one of their uh, top scorers so oh, far this year. Well. We're gonna restart the game here. So let's hit the reset button. We've seen all kinds of strange starts this season. We have. Starting on the penalty kill, starting the game twice. Here we go, now we're underway once again. And hopefully this time they'll uh, keep going here. Over to the Ashland end in the far side. Picking it up is the right winger, Trenton O'Connor. Over to the neutral zone it goes. Hit up by Lindquist. Now along the boards, DJ Sloan. Out and back, Michael Berman in the center getting that one around the end board. As Simos gives a nice hit into the wall. Picked up by Sloan now and he was unable to handle it. So here come the clockers. Back to the neutral zone by Hornung. And you mentioned earlier Jackson Horning, the player to look out for for Ashland. Very good athlete. Yeah, I think the Hillers will be keying on him. He's uh, well versed at running the defense and then getting the puck transitioned over to offense. Nice defensive play by Cam Jarrett, and here comes DJ Sloan. Sloan on a quick break up the far side in Ashland territory. And he's contested by Berman over to the near side. Nice hit into the boards by Sloan. Sloan hit him hard so far in this one. Merrill gets that to the far side. Here come the clockers, two on two. And that one is stolen away by Hunter Temple. Temple coming up the ice pretty quick. On the right circle, leaves it behind. The wrister, oh, that's nice. a goal! Sean Walsh getting in on the action early on. It's a great breakout play. The Hillers caught Ashland changing too. When the defenseman was going off right as the Hillers started their break. Caught him with a three on two. 13.37 left to go in the first period, and the Hillers are on the board. It's one to nothing, less than a minute and a half into the game. John Walsh with a beauty of a shot goes top shelf with that one. Colt today around the net, Temple knocks it back around. That's picked up by Walsh, out in front, and we got another goal! And this time it's Tommy Hamblett. Well, that's a real quick start for the Hill is there, two in less than a minute. That goal was 12 seconds after the first goal in this game. Quick 2-0 lead for the Hillers. Get out early, right? <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to that expression. In on the faceoff for the Hillers, Griffin Zach. Yeah, I, I just barely caught that goal, too. I was looking down at my score sheet for a moment. It came quick. That's how the Hillers are offensively sometimes. Merrill puts that around the boards. Picked up on the far side. Back to the neutral zone we go. Quick break here. Up the far side into the right circle. The wrister. That's off of O'Leary. That attempt by Fish. 
Now along the near side, coming up the boards, Quinlan. Quinlan trying to work his way past a couple of defenders, and that one is into the Hillers bench. Backhander by Fish almost took out a couple Hillers. <laughs> How about Hopkinson switching up the talent very early in this game and getting some players that usually you see a little later in the game, but they're going to try to get everybody in there, I think. Yeah, I mean, they, they're just talented from uh, the top line all the way down through, so they can roll people through in all the different positions. And one of the keys to a deep postseason run is a deep roster, and the Hillers, they have a very deep roster this season, as they did last year as well. Quick break into the right circle, Larissa. That's off of O'Leary on the Jackson Horning attempt. Nice shot there, and then out of play on the near side. And we'll have a line change for the Hillers, as well as a face-off in the Hopkinton zone. DJ Sloan up against John Reap. Ashland trying to respond quickly here. Here come the Hillers. On his knees there was Will Abbott. Out to the slot, picked up by Shapiro. Back to the neutral zone along the far side boards. Hit up by Rosen. And now Arister, and that one off of O'Leary on the Shapiro attempt. O'Leary's going to make a couple of big saves here early. Yeah, it's already three shots on net for Ashland. Up the far side, and we'll get a stoppage here. As Jackson Horning was chasing it down, and we'll go back to the Hiller zone. Well, Ashland's certainly not going to give up after two kick goals. They're going to see them still bring it. Oh, yeah, they know they have to bring it even harder now. Along the far side. Picked up in the neutral zone by Mallet, who takes a hard hit. And here comes number 11, the goal scorer, Sean Walsh. She scored the first goal, trying to score another one there. He's denied. Temple knocks it back to the neutral zone. O'Leary picks it up and places it for Sheamus. Up the near side, off the stick of Sheamus. Sheamus going up against the Malfi along the boards. And here comes Sean Walsh once again. Walsh on a quick break to the left circle, around one defenseman. And Lode will put that behind the net. Temple leaves it out to the left circle, the wrister, and that one off a of load on the Tommy Hamblin attempt. He already has a goal as well. He scored the second goal 12 seconds after the Sean Walsh goal. Out to the slot, just past the stick of Hamblin. Picking it up in the neutral zone will be Separoshitz. Separoshitz, excuse me. Up the boards by Temple. Knocked around there by Mallet. Fockers trying to establish any kind of momentum they can. Already trailing 2 0. We are four minutes into this game. Picked up behind the net by John Kirk. Separoshitz gets a stick on it. Back to the top of the circle. Quinlan with the reverse pass. Jammed up is Kyle Rogers in the far side corner. Over to the left circle. Ashland busy defensively to start off this game. Over to the blue line now, and that shot wide to the right by Delaney. Over around the corner. Griffin Zach was looking for someone open. There's a wrister, and that one almost went in by Delaney. Some nice pop on that one up the far side to Dale. Picked up by Zach, who takes a couple of hits. Turned around by O'Connor. Zaporoshitz leaves it over to the left circle. Back to Hiller's defensive territory. We'll get the icing. And just tenacious there on the forecheck for the Hillers. They're just sending player after player. That first man's going after the puck, and they've got someone right there to pick it up, and then him dashing in there for a good minute or so in that shift. Clock is stopped at 10.06 on this faceoff. Top of the left circle, and that shot denied. That was a Will Abbott attempt. Over to the near side, Lindquist now out in front. These defensemen really being put to work for Ashland. Back to the neutral zone. That one picked up by, looks like Andrew Gilbert in there. Now up the far side, Lindquist. Lindquist around the net. Out in front, in the slot. Sloan looking for the shot there. That one placed out of the circle by Amalfi. Picked up by Lindquist. On the far side, Gilbert. Good breakout. Yeah, here comes Sloan, working his way to the left circle. Now 
Ashland contesting the Hillers heavy in their defensive zone. They know they can't give up goals that easily. They want any chance in this game. Will Abbott around the net. Abbott looks out in front to the blue line. The wrister and that one is stopped by a defenseman. The secondary attempt is going to be wrapped up by Loud. Initial attempt there by Cam Jarrett. And then uh, DJ Sloan had that secondary attempt on the left side of the net. Good goaltending work by Load. I think he's going to see a lot of action tonight from the looks of it so far. Oh, yeah. Sean Walsh in there. Off the faceoff. Temple is trying to pick that one up. It was taken away briefly by Ashland, but the Hillers got it right back with nice work by Tommy Hamblett. Temple behind the net now. Out in front, and he just missed an opportunity to get it to Hamlet for a nice shot. O'Leary will place it for Sheamus. Sheamus to the near side, to Jarrett. Quickly up the near side is Hamlet. Hamlet, top of the right circle, leaves it in the slot just past the reach of Walsh. Backhander by Temple. Walsh picks it up behind the net. Walsh up to... The blue line and a shot there by Saparoshitz. Hiller's just dominating early on. They have had the puck in, Hill, in uh, Ashland territory most of this game. Sean Walsh in the left circle. No one there. Putting it up the boards, Hamlet. Saparoshitz looking to get it back. And there's Hamlet. He already has a couple steals tonight. Walsh on the right circle. Trying to wrap around, and Load was ready for it. Over to the high slot, the shot wide to the right. There by Connor Delaney. Back to the neutral zone we go. Saparoshitz picks it up. Over to Rogers, and now coming up the near far side, Griffin Zach. Stolen away, quick break O'Connor. On the right circle, the wrister, and O'Leary will wrap that one up on the Jackson Horning attempt. Hiller is on the change there, almost got caught, but the defenseman got over just in time. O'Leary, he's just such a great tool, he's such a great goaltender, and when you have this offense that the Hillers have and these defensemen with that goaltender, they are almost impossible to score on. Over towards the far side corner now, coming up quickly, Kyle Rogers over to the near side, quick break, Quinlan. Quinlan going up against Merrill. Hard hit there. Picked up on the near side corner, Lindquist. Top of the circle. And that was Zach looking for Lindquist once again. Over the corner goes to Quinlan. Back to the blue line, there's a wrist. So that one wide to the left. Would not want to be in front of that one. That had some zip on it for sure. Over along the far side. Picked up back ice, Lindquist. 6.37 and counting left to go in this first period. Here come the clockers. Poked out by Quinlan. Up the far side goes Rogers. To the left circle. He's denied the opportunity by Merrill. Pass up to O'Connor. Let's take it back by Sloan. Out in front, no one there for the Hillers. Back to the neutral zone. But Mitchell gets his stick on that one, puts it around the end board. And O'Leary is gonna have to place this one. Right back to Sloan he goes. Sloan has just showed off the speed in the last couple of games. He's had some great goals. We're going to get a trip here on the Ashland. And that's going to hurt the clockers. Big time. That'll be Brett Irwin going to the box for two minutes. Well, just look for the Hillers to be patient here, Tom, with their speed and the movement, especially on five on five, where they get that extra man advantage. They just don't want to rush it. They just want to look for that open guy, wait for that good shot come open. Sloan on the face-off against Trent O'Connor. Make that Michael Berman for Ashland. Up the far side, O'Leary places it nicely for Connor Delaney. Connor leaves it. Coming up the near side now is Simos. There's a nice whack there, top of the circle. That one just a little bit wide to the right. Battle over on the left circle now, and that's put out of the danger zone by Shapiro. Connor Delaney waiting to get around the net. Leaves it for Sloan, here comes Sloan. 
in Ashland territory. On the right circle, looking for the shot, no opportunity. Smart job keeping the puck there. Lindquist, pass across, top of the right circle. That one nearly put in on the secondary attempt by Simos on the Connor Delaney shot. Simos now tied up around the end boards. Five minutes and counting left to go in this first period. Simos gives it to the left circle, Abbott to the blue line, Lindquist. Back to Abbott looking for the shot here. That wrister is right in the load. Killers will switch it up a little bit. Still 51 seconds left on the power play. Hopkinton trying to capitalize on the opportunity. Sean Walsh in the faceoff circle. Over the blue line now on the far side, Hamblet. Back to Walsh. Jarrett. And that one's in! A, a nice deflection. Tip. Was that Hamblet who got the I think it might have been Walsh. I think Walsh might have got the tip. All right, I'll go with you on that one. I'm sorry, Kyle Rogers. I think it was Rogers, actually. Kyle wow. Rogers. Rogers and Hamblet were both in the area. I, I think you're right. I think it might have been Rogers. The shot was labeled, and he just got enough of a stick on it to deflect it up to the top corner. Three nothing, Hillers. We'll get the official word in a moment. But yeah, it's Rogers' teammate giving him some credit. Yep. So Kyle Rogers into the score books for the Hillers, who are off to a three nothing lead. A ferocious first period. Hillers just dominating. Jarrett picks it up in the neutral zone. Pass back over to Gilbert. Up the far side of Temple. Here comes Sean Walsh now with an opportunity in the slot. Leaves it to the right circle. With control, Hamlet on the boards. Walsh takes a hard hit. Temple trying to get in there. Some good stick work by Hornan. And here come the clockers. Merrill coming down the ice. And he will shoot wide to the left. Back over the near side, Nicholas Fish. Jarrett gives a nice shoulder there. Pushed by Walsh, and the Hillers have it. Up the near side, Hamlet. And he's contested. 3.41 and counting left in this first period. Hillers up 3-0. They scored two goals within the first two minutes of this game. Oh, that was Hamlet. All right. I don't know if the referees got that wrong. I could have sworn that was... Rogers with a tip. We'll have to ask uh, Coach McPherson about that one. <laughs> They'll straighten that out because the kids will let them know who, who really got it. <laughs> I, I did think it was Hamlet. I thought he got the tip of the stick on it. But I, th I thought there was a couple of guys that might have touched that one. Happened so fast. Yep. Wrister over the net by Shapiro. Back to the neutral zone. That denied by Hornung. Hornung on the right circle looking for a shot. Trying to backhand it. And he's contested by defenseman. Wrapped up by O'Leary. Ashland will switch things up. 2.55 left to go in the first period. Hiller's leading 3 0. Sean Walsh scores with 13.37 left. 12 seconds later, Tommy Hamblett scores. And then Hamblett, maybe uh, the third goal. We're in debate of, as if to it was Hamblett or Rogers. Face off, Sloan and Rosen. Leaves it behind. That one's wrapped up by O'Leary. We'll do it again. Over to the far side corner. Out in front. Nice box out by Connor Delaney there. That was Malfi looking for that shot. Into the neutral zone, mail it. Sets it up for Rosen. Smacks that around on the far side. Larry puts it back up the boards of Simos. There's Dempsey over the near side to Amalfi. Seems like Ashland is just trying to keep it in Hiller's territory. Yeah, they've had trouble getting it out of their own zone, so. They're, they're having trouble getting shots impressed. off as well. And here comes Abbott on a quick break. He's contested by Mallet. Abbott up against the Malfi in the far side in the near side corner. Top of the left circle to Saperoshitz. Back to the corner we go. Picked up by Mallet. Neutral zone, Saperoshitz. Puts that one towards the slot. Tadeo picks it up. 
Valeri just lets that one fly as Peter Mitchell was there. The far side, that one deflected off of the stick out of play of Simos. It's about the only thing that's going to slow that hill or break, break out down is the puck leaving right. the surface here. Yep. <laughs> 137 left to go in this first period. Hiller is leading 10 to 3 with shots on goal, 3 0 overall. Along the far side, Mitchell, along with Temple. Back to the circle to Shapiro, who puts it up the boards. Back by Mitchell. Temple trying to get the shot off, backhands it. And around the net over to Walsh. On a break is Tadeo. Pass over to O'Connor. Picked up in the Hiller zone by Lindquist. Lindquist shakes off the forward there. Good stick work there by Lindquist. Just floating around a couple of clockers. Up the far side. And we'll get icing here. Less than a minute left to go in this first period. Impressive stuff so far, Eric. It is, it is. And the Hills just want to make sure they don't let their guard down here with 52 seconds left and face off in their own zone. If everyone's going to pick up their man, you just, one thing you want to do is give them any momentum of the goal here late in the period. TJ Sloan in there for the Hillers against John Reap for Ashley. 50 seconds and counting. Denied by Abbott. With the boards by Simos. Picked up by Hornung. Up the near side, Merrill. Is it just me or does Ashland just seem wiped out already? A lot of hockey. It certainly is. DJ Sloan coming up the near side. Hillers might be tiring him out pretty early here. Another slot, he's denied by Hornung. Jackson Horning, a member of the Ashland Legion baseball team as well. Terrific athlete. He has possession coming up the near side. Top of the left circle. Trying to float around a hiller there. Was looking for someone in the circle, no one there except DJ Sloan. Good team defense there. The forwards just massing along top of the circles there. We'll have a face-off in the hiller zone with 1.4 seconds left. And Ashland's had to be on their heels a lot in their own zone. They're doing a lot of chasing around. It's probably contributing to the tiredness. Oh, I'd say so. The Hillers, I mean, they certainly have Ashland outmatched when it comes to speed. At least that's what the first period has showed. Well, it was an impressive period to say the least. The Hopkinton Hillers come out firing in all cylinders, and they net a couple of goals within the first two minutes, and then add a third later on, and they lead the Ashland Clockers three to nothing as we head into the first intermission. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAN. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. I'm Kelly. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love HCAN. Hey, I like to be HCAN. We love HCAN. And I volunteer for HCAN TV. I watch HCAN TV. And I I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Woo! Welcome back to the New England Sports Center in the wonderful Marlboro, Massachusetts. We are ready for the second period between Ashland and Hopkinton. The clock is a little delayed coming out of the locker room, and they are trailing three to nothing heading into the second period. The officials actually had to uh, go get Ashland. I was worried, I thought they might have got lost. It is a big place here. Out of the face-off circle for the Clockers, Michael Berman, and for the Hillers, DJ Sloan. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call, bringing you Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Tom Dings is our cameraman as the Hillers work right to left across your screen. Into the neutral zone, Sloan looking for a quick break here. Into the circle, and that shot just wide to the left. Picked up on the near side by Gilbert. Into the end boards. Now it's back up towards Gilbert. And Sloan jammed up along the corner. He's looking for someone in the circle. No one there. Taken away by O'Connor. Up the boards goes Nicholas Fish. And we'll get a whistle. Well on the other side of the red line for that one. Oh, yeah. I don't know why he hit that one. He could have 
Broke up ice. If you're gonna do that, you gotta at least try to aim for the goalie. Right. Yeah, they just pretty much gave it away there. Killers, I'm or excuse me, Ashton, I'm sure pretty frustrated. As and Will Abbott is gonna frustrate them more with another goal. The right winger on a beauty of a wrister. And that, that's the kind of mistakes yeah, that they can't afford to do being down three nothing already. You gotta make sure you get to that red line to get it in. They'll give the Hillers a chance to start in their end. We are 36 seconds into the second period and Will Abbott has scored the fourth Hillers goal of this game. It's now Hopkinton leading Ashland four to nothing. Sean Walsh on the faceoff for the Hillers. Load up the far side. Sheamus puts it to the near side and it's picked up by Tadeo briefly before it's taken by Walsh. Up the boards he goes in the left circle. Backhands into the slot trying to poke it in and load the goaltender jamming it up and he will wrap it up as Tommy Hamblett was trying to score his second goal of the game. And we will have a face-off in the Ashland zone. Tommy Hamblett up against John Reap. Excuse me, that was Sean Walsh who stepped in there. Walsh trying to backhand that one. Around the inboards goes Jarrett. Picked up on the far side as Sheamus pushes the defenseman away. Out of the circle, Reap will risk that one of the neutral zone where Jarrett was waiting. Back to the circle, Tadeo gets a handle on it. Fockers trying to work their way up ice, having a hard time getting out of their defensive zone. Shapiro turns it around. Yeah. Yeah. Fort fortunately, their best uh, offense is just uh, icing the puck at this moment. Right. We'll have another face off. They're playing with fire. The Hillers have been really good over the years with their face-off plays. They certainly have. Zach was trying to feed that one to Quinlan in the slot. On a break up the far side, Fish. And it's taken right back by the Hillers. Rogers able to get to it. And put back into Hillers territory. Over the corner, Saparoshitz. Puts it up the boards to Rogers. Takes a contact from a couple of clockers. Quick break up the far side, Rogers. Left in the right circle is Griffin Zach trying to get a stick on that one. Picked up along the near side boards by Quinlan. Ashlyn has it as Hornung around the net. Hornung probably the best stick work up on the Ashlyn team. I think you gotta find him more. Into the slot, a shot here, and that one denied by O'Leary. What a beauty of a save by O'Leary on the Michael Berman attempt. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, he's had to be sharp. Ashland's had two or three really good shots um, out of the five that. And that was a really good one. O'Leary's had to make a good save on. That was Ashland's best shot of the night. Yeah, just a great pass. A flip pass in the air, caught him right in stride, and he was able to break in. DJ Sloan in there for the Hillers. Around the end boards. That was Amalfi trying to wrap it around. Up the far side, Lindquist. And that one is going to float for the whistle. We'll have a face off in the Hiller zone. Oh, Ashland putting on a little pressure. I think having all these whistles kind of favors Ashland at this point, slowing the pace down for the Hillers. Right. Maybe that icing was working to their advantage. EJ Sloan up against Rosen. Lindquist around the end board. The near side, Simos takes a whack. Gilbert puts it to the far side and then up the boards goes Abbott. And there's another whistle. I think Abbott was hoping someone would catch up to that one. This will give the opportunity to the Hillers to switch up a couple of players on the ice. DJ Sloan on the faceoff. Through the neutral zone, Horning. Matched up with Simos, and now over the far side we go. Hiller is trying to take back control. 
Last couple of possessions have been in favor of Ashland. Here comes Hornung, right circle, looking for a shot here. We'll wrap it around the net, trying to look for somebody in front. No one there, great defensive work by the Hillers. They had two bodies out in front of the net, making sure no one was able to get in there. On Seamus and Steven Simos doing a nice job at preventing a potential Ashland goal. Sloan picks it up behind the net. Here he comes into the neutral zone. Sloan puts it up ahead. Around the net, Simos leaving it out in front and the shot. And that is going to be Again. another goal for Will Abbott. His second goal of the game, just making it look easy. Just a great play by Simos behind the net, was able to pick that puck up. Abbott stopped right in front and he just had it right on his stick. Wasn't there long, went on the stick and then in the net. Two goals in the second period for the Hillers, both of them from the stick of Will Abbott. First one with 14.24 left, this one with 11.07 left. So about a little more than three minutes after the first goal, he strikes again, 5 nothing Hillers. Getting pretty close to that running clock. Along the near side, Saparoshitz. Hamblet turns it around. Hamblet takes a hit along the boards by Load. And Ashland territory goes, picked up by Tadeo. Hard hit there by Saparoshitz, or Hunter Temple rather. Saparoshitz picks it up, turns it around. Sean Walsh looking for the puck. That one just gets past the stick. Quick break now, though, by Hamlet into the right circle. Larister, and that one just a little wide to the right. Jammed up along the, in the corner there is Hamlet. Trying to poke it out. Hamlet back to the blue line, top of the left circle. That one denied by a defenseman into the slot. Temple looking for the shot there. The stick met up with John Reeps. 9.58 and counting left in the second period. Miller's in control of this one, up five to nothing. Over there, crosstown rival Ashland Clockers. On the far side, Hamlet flips that one up in the air. Picked up behind the net by Walsh. Now on the near side corner, Rogers. Rogers is trying to look for somebody out in front. Gilbert puts it around the boards. Picked up in the corner by Quinlan. Here come the Clockers. They have a potential two on one here. There's O'Connor in the left circle and he puts that one just wide to the left. Couple of good shots in this second period by Ashland. They're certainly providing a little bit more pressure, but they just have not been able to stop these Hillards forwards. Quick break here. And that one turned away by Merrill. Looking Zach was looking for an opportunity. And now Nicholas Fish up the ice. I don't know why he put that one in front of him. There was clearly no clockers there. Here come the Hillers once again. Three on two. Over the far side, Quinlan. Look out, man behind. And Ashland looking for a shot here into the slot. And was that in? Nope. Yeah. Oh, no. I believe it went off the post on the Casey Rosen attempt. Wow. If you're going to get a goal, that was the opportunity. Yeah, he snuck in behind the hill of defense. So he didn't see him. I think he was a little late coming out of his own box. Yeah, Brett Irwin was wide open in the left circle and left it for Rosen, who could not finish. That shot off by a millimeter, I'd say. On the near side to Dale. Irwin met with some contact, but puts it up ice. So Larry puts that one off his stick, sets it up for Lindquist. Nice Lindquist. play. Nice pass up over to Kirk, who just recently came into the game. We've got a whistle here. Well, I can tell you, Tom, from being a coach watching these Hillers in practice, they work on the breakouts all the time and the coaches really have it down for these players and you can see that they're uh, they're utilizing that tonight they certainly are big Weinstock back into the game Dan Kirk still out there as well as Curtis Terry in there around the boards by Connor Delaney who just recently hopped back into the game as well battle along the near side boards 
Jake Weinstock met with a nice hit there. Uh, a little they hit from behind. I think he's going to go for that one. Yep. So the Hillers will be back on the power play, and Alex Amalfi will be in the penalty box. Hillers already scored once on the power play today. And their only power play opportunity. Let's see if they could do it again. Will Abbott and DJ Sloan are out there. The official giving uh, Michael Berman a little talking to about his foot placement. Abbott risks that one, and it's wrapped up by Load, and the official blowing the play dead there. We'll have another face off. Now look for that same play here, Tom. Sloan just trying to right, draw right back to Abbott, to cutting in. Yep. It's worked a couple times tonight. Back along the near side. I think half Ashland shots have been from inside their own blue line. I think so. Quick break up the far side, Sloan. Here he goes by two clockers over the right circle, trying to set Abbott up. Sloan contested, trying to dig the puck out of there. He's going up against two clockers on that opportunity. Lindquist. Calls it out. And what we got here, offsides? No, I think they're going to call another interference penalty, and this one on the Hillers. Ah, so that'll even things out a little bit. Simos. Well, we'll be at even strength for a minute 16, and then Ashland will have a bit of a power play. Four on four. I think that extra rest in between periods that Ashland took uh, is giving a little bit of a spark here. I think so. I'm sure they had a nice talking to as well. Hunter Delaney over the far side. Picked up at the blue line. There's a wrister inside the neutral zone, and that one is wrapped up by O'Leary. Near side of Abbott. Here comes Abbott. Abbott on a quick break, looking for a shot into the right circle. Out in front of the net, no one there. Picked up top of the left circle, Delaney risks that one. Back towards Hornung. Hornung. Lost possession briefly, picks it back up in the corner, and is met with a hit from Connor Delaney. Out in front, just past the reach of Rosen. And O'Leary's going to have to wrap up that shot attempt. And definitely a good two-way player for Ashland. He's been able to transition to offense a couple times here out of his own defensive end. Jack Merrill with that shot. Yeah, they've had a few good-looking shots in the second period. O'Leary, he's playing outstanding in that, no doubt about it. And there was a couple of uh, lucky situations, I'd say, as well. About six minutes left to go in this second period. Five nothing Hillers. Here comes Hunter Temple on a one on one and he will put that one wide to the left. Off a defenseman it goes. Picked up by Hornung. Temple was trying to take it back there and he was able to take it back. He was looking for Walsh. Walsh did not see the pass. And up the near side Hornung. And off of Gilbert. On the end boards, he was looking for Hornung in the slot. Merrill, up the far side, picked up by Saparoshitz. Backhander, that's stolen away by Hornung. Top of the left circle, trying to work his way into the slot. That one wide to the right by Shapiro. And O'Leary wraps this one up. I don't know if Hornung's come off the ice for uh, more than a minute this period. Yeah, <laughs> Seems like he's been so. out there a lot. Piero on that shot attempt. Well, he's certainly uh, Ashland's most threatening player, scoring-wise. Griffin Zach up against Michael Berman. Near side corner, O'Connor. Met with a hit from Gilbert. Top of the right circle. That's stolen away by Zach. 
Well, so Connor with the one-timer attempt could not get a good hit on it. 4.51 left to go in this second period. Well, the face off in the Hiller zone. Well, the last few minutes, I'd say, have been in uh, favor of Ashland. Yeah, they're catching up on shots, too. They're up within five now. Right. And again, a lot of those have been from outside the Hiller zone. Larry sets that one up. Lindquist. Up the near side. It's around one clocker. And Ashland territory goes. Nice moves there between the legs of Tadeo. Around the net. There's Griffin Zach looking for someone out in front. Just past the stick of Hamblet. Larry will place it. Peter Mitchell. Past the near side. Lindquist. Nice now look. that one up to Hamblet. Quick break here. In the left circle. Thought about the shot. Take it around the net instead. Over to the blue line. Peter Mitchell. And yeah, missed that opportunity. O'Connor on a break. And yeah, he was trying to get it down to fish. Four minutes left now. That one wrist up in the air by Hamlet. Over along the near side, it's Griffin, Zach, and Saperoshitz for the Hillers. A couple of clockers as well, Cole Tadeo and O'Connor. Back to the end boards we go. Berman, over to the blue line, shot opportunity here for Abbott. All kinds of traffic in the slot. Back into the neutral zone. Saperoshitz trying to steal it away. And he de denies Nicholas Fish the opportunity of a breakaway. Sloan. Good footwork here. Yep. Smart play there, not to just dump it out. He kept control, waited for his players to come open. Picked up by Tadeo. Approaching three minutes left to go in the second period. And we're going to get a tripping here, I think. Abbott fall into the ice. And heading to the box is Cole Tadeo. And that is two minutes. Power play advantage, Hillers. Both teams were able to burn a power play here in this period so far. Ashland, they only really had to burn uh, about 46 seconds of one. Since the Hillers had someone in the box as well. We're going to have a timeout call by the Ashland Clockers. They want to talk things over. 3.05 left to go in the second period. Hillers leading 5 0. Eric, the impressive performance against a good Ashland team continues for the Hillers. Yeah, they're just, they're really hitting on all cylinders right now. Uh, you know, they're we're midway through the season here. and. Now that they've had a lot of time to play together, all these lines are really gelling. They know who each other are. Um, Coach McPherson and Coach O'Connor just really have them well schooled, playing a great four check system, uh, really good on the back check. They're just solid all around from end to end. And as we talked about all year long, the speed just kills. Right. And they are certainly burning Ashland, I'd say, all around the ice this evening. For those of you just joining us, let's recap the scoring situation. In the first period, the Hillers netted three goals. Sean Walsh. Less than a minute and a half into it, 13.37 to go, Nets one. And then 12 seconds later, Tommy Hamblett Nets one. And then you had a third goal in that first period as well from Kyle Rogers. And then Will Abbott with a pair of goals in the second period. One with 14.24 and one with 11.07 left to go. And now the Hillers working on the power play here, trying to make it number six. Along the near side, Lindquist. Top of the left circle, and he'll risk that one, and it's loose, and then poking it in, Steven Simos. 6 nothing Hillers. Just a great play by Samos, right in front, ready to jump on that loose puck for the rebound. Well, I don't know what Load was thinking, but he kind of just let the puck stay right in front of him. He could have tried to at least put a glove on it, but Simos saw the open opportunity and poked it right in. 2.51 left to go in the second. Third goal of the period for the Hillers. And they have a nice, cozy 6 to nothing lead. Dan Kirk on the faceoff for Hopkinton along the far side, Sheamus. Sheamus looking for a shot. The blue line, backhander by Terry, will get a whistle. So the Hillers score for the second time on a power play. And they've been so good on the power play this season. They season. have, they've been real good. 
Gilbert puts it over to the far side of Sheamus. Ashley with a break here in the left circle, and O'Leary's going to wrap that one up. Nice uh, wrister there by Rosen. Uh, Will Abbott, he's uh, quietly, or not so quietly, working his way up the, uh, the all-time points list here for the Hillers. What point was that? <laughs> or how many points did he have coming into this game? I'm uh, not quite sure. I know he had, he had the 100 back in the Metro West uh, Cup, and he's added several over that. He's probably done the double digits after that. And that <laughs> wrister is way too high by Hornung. He's trying to knock some fans out in the... Uh, Balcony over there. And then a lot of the kids at the, the top of that hill list, they uh, had an extra year in there uh, when the first crowd of the eighth graders were allowed to play. They should still be allowed to play <laughs> if they're good. Why not? <laughs> they can compete with these guys. Yeah, they have to get a waiver from the Tri-Valley. Right. Well, there are some high school teams with eighth grade with eighth graders on them, usually smaller teams. Right, yeah, that's going to be a special circumstance for them to allow them to play. Bellingham does it for a lot of sports smaller school in the TVL. Take it up the far side, Lindquist. He's contested by Merrill. Lindquist trying to dig it out. Still with control. He's just a smart player. He's waiting for his help to come down, making sure he didn't lose control of that puck. Weinstock was trying to put that one in. Nearly had a goal there. Now a wrister by Lindquist from the right circle, wide to the left. Along the near side, Mitchell. Miller switched things up. 122 left to go. And we're going to stop it here. I think Ashland's got as many icings as they do shots on goal. Right. <laughs> yeah, when they get into trouble, they just keep icing, really. They have had a very hard time establishing any control. And turned around by Temple. Picked up behind the net by Mallet. Connor Delaney on the far side. Now Zaporoshitz will chase it down. Approaching one minute left in this second period. Looking for a shot here. Backhander. I don't know where he was going with that one. There's Nicholas Fish on the attempt. Out in front. And poked out of the slot by Delaney. That'll be an icing. 46.8 left to go in the second period. Another three goal period so far by the Hillers. Three in the first, three in the second. Hopkinton, they have really racked up some offense as of late. 21 goals in their last four games. Nice slot, O'Leary wraps that one up. Nice save by O'Leary. Jackson Horning had a good shot on that one. Through a little bit of a screen too, O'Leary was able to follow that all the way in and get the pad on it. He's, oh, been, it. he's been sharp for a 6-0 game so far. He's had to make a couple quality saves. Right. And there's a zero on Ashland's side of the scoreboard because O'Leary has had some terrific saves in this game. Along the near side, Horning. And he's denied by Gilbert. Up the boards, put back by Reap. Here comes Hopkinton looking for a break here. Take it back by Ashland as Horning gets to it. Down the far side, 15 seconds left in the period. Looking for a goal. He's trying to put that one in the side of the net, but nice defensive work by the Hillers as yeah. Griffin Zach caught up to him. Seamus did a great job forcing him to the outside. Nice pickup by Zach. On the near side, Shapiro. And that's going to do it for the second period of play. More impressive stuff by the Hopkinton Hillers in the second, Eric. Yeah, they're just, you know, they just gelling as a team. It's just been team offense and team defense. And they're going to be really hard to stop this year when they're all playing the way they are now. Yeah, they certainly will. They are just absolutely loaded. Well, the final 15 minutes is coming up next. The Hillers in control, leading Ashland 6 to nothing. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. 
ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors, and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating, and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. We are ready for the third period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Ashland Clockers. It is a 6-0 lead for Hopkinton. They have this game well in control for sure. There were a few almost goals by Ashland in the second, and I think Ashland looked a little bit better, but the Hillers just dominating offensively, and Michael Lowe just having a tough time at stopping these Hillers forwards. As Hopkinton will start off with possession. And Quist puts it around the boards. Hopkinton will love a nice goal here to keep that clock moving. With the seven goal rule. Seven, oh, so, go ahead, Eric. They've had a, fa <laughs> a fast start in all three periods there. They've come and got right down Ashland's end all three times. Right, quick break here, Berman. It's around one hiller, but Lindquist gets out in front of him. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. Tom Ding's our cameraman. And to the circle, the backhander, that one denied. Another Jackson Horning attempt there. Ashland looking for another shot here as Dan Kirk gets the push on Fish. Looks like they moved him up to offense, try to generate some here. Another shot by Horning in the slot. Valeri was busy in that second period for sure. And had a few unbelievable stops. Over to the near side. Picking it up is Hornung. O'Connor. Back to the slot to Merrill. Hornung. It's around one hiller, trying to get around another. Stolen back. Quick break for Hopkinton as Simos was trying to drive down. Abbott with possession. Trying to leave it for Sloan, slow away by Hornung, who will meet up with Sloan. Back to the neutral zone, minute and a half into the third period. And that one gloved by O'Leary. He might get around one hiller, but uh, they're right there with the, the backup and layers, so he's gonna have trouble getting in the score. Right, he was trying to shoot from the neutral zone. Says, you know what, if I can't get my uh, shot off from Hiller's defensive zone, I'll try it from the neutral zone. Hopkinton looking for a goal here, the wrister, and that one just a little bit too high by Sloan. Back to the near side, Saporoshitz chases it down. Left out in front, there to collect is Delaney. Back to the neutral zone, and Abbott gives a nice hard shove to Lode, Stephen Lode. Brother of the goaltender, Michael Lode for Ashland. Sloan trying to get around Stephen Lode. It's picked up by Rosen. Over to the blue line, and we'll get a whistle. I think offsides was the call here. 12.26, and counting left. Looks like they're going to leave the clock running. Yeah, they're running it. Sometimes the teams can agree to do that, too, if it's a big lead or, or if the officials just feel like having it run. <laughs> <laughs> Over to the slot. Good footwork there, out in front, and that is going to be... Puck's loose, but they blew the whistle. Nice save. Right. Yep. Great play by Walsh. I didn't know if Hamlet got that past the, the line for the goal, but it is no yep. goal. So it looked like uh, he might have just been able to do it, but Michael Lode able to prevent a seven-tiller's goal. Sean Walsh with a great backhand pass. And this to the end boards. Battle in the corner. John Walsh trying to come away with it. Temple, he's tripped up. Tadeo gets a hold on it for Ashland. And he's met up with Gilbert. Over the left side circle, out in the slot now, looking for the shot, turns it around. And I believe that was wrapped up by Lowe. I think that went off his face mask. That was Tommy Hamblett wristing that one up. 
And uh, that was some hard contact Michael Lode had to take from that shot. And he has to shake it off a little bit and put his goaltending mask back on. He's making stops any way he can with all the shots he's seen tonight. <laughs> right. It has not been a fun night, I'm sure, for Michael Lode. Clock stopped at 10.50. In the right circle. Rodgers trying to establish control. Here comes Ashland. Nicholas Fish puts that one out in front. In the corner, O'Connor up against Mitchell. The blue line, Hornung looking for a shot in the right circle. That one denied by O'Leary. Yeah, and they got two hillers on him. He's just not able to break, break by all of them. And yeah, there, there's extra coverage on uh, Horning, that's for sure. Mitchell. Over to Quinlan. Gets it off the glass. Up the near side now. Rogers. Ashland picks it up. That one just going off of every board along the rink. There's Terry on the near side over to Connor Delaney. Back towards Terry. Now we put out of play. Not sure, Tom, what the Hiller's overall goal differential is this year, but it's got to be a pretty big plus number, well into the double digits. I'm sure it is at this point, especially with these last four or five games. Rister by Saparoshitz. Along the end boards, Kirk with the back pass. In the right circle to the blue line, looking for the shot here. That was Connor Delaney, and Saparoshitz tried on the secondary attempt. Back around the boards, picked up by Weinstock. And out in front, wrapped up by Lode on the Curse Terry attempt. Millers will switch it up. Clock keeps moving. 8.39 and counting left to go. I think at this point, 6 nothing lead. Keep that clock moving. <laughs> I like it. Hard hit along the far side there. Nice push by Terry. Hopkinton pretty much just trying to keep in Ashland's zone right now. Not being very aggressive, taking her shots. And Looking for one there in the slot. And Simos stealing that one away and getting a shot off. Simos with control behind the net, trying to put it through, and he's denied. Simos was one on four there as the Hillers are going for a change. He single-handedly kept the puck in and right. had a good offensive thrust. He's powered his way through. Top of the circle, wrapped around by Sheamus. Sloan, and on the far side, it's Terry. Met with some contact. Abbott in the left circle into the high slot, and he launches that one. That one's denied and wrapped up by Lode. Abbott with a nice opportunity there. Got a pretty good shot off. Killers switch up the line. 7.15 and counting. Lindquist was denied. Quist up the near side. In the neutral zone. Tommy Hamblett and Stephen Lode met up. Some hard contact. Opportunity here, trying to put it in out in front, and that one denied. It was Sean Walsh initially, and then Hunter Temple tried on the rebound. Mitchell up along the far side of Lindquist. Out in front to Temple. Here comes Temple. He's met with a hard hit from Reap. Still on his feet, picks it up. Out in front, and that one is off of load. Over in the near side corner, pretty good shot there. I believe that was Tommy Hamlet got that one off. Mitchell in the neutral zone, backhands it around the boards. Picked up behind the net by Tadeo. He's met up with Hamlet, who's having a great game, Tommy Hamlet. Has one goal to his credit. 
scored the first goal in the second period. And Will Abbott followed through with a couple of more goals in that second period. Or actually, Hamlet scored the second goal in the first period, excuse me. And we'll get a time called here to switch up the talent on the ice. 545 and counting in this third period. Eric, is it it's just amazing to me how much the Hillers have dominated these good opponents. I mean, Ashland's a good team. And they play teams like Dover, Sherborne, Medway, Westwood, and they just seem to dominate everybody. It's, tough. Uh, it's yep. unbelievable. Yep. Even in this tough Tri-Valley League this year, they are just uh, they're clicking. Right. And they're doing it against teams that should make a pretty good playoff run. Ashland, certainly a lot of talent, and they have some uh, great players on their roster this season. And they're 5-4-2 and two heading into this one. Quick break here, opportunity for a seventh goal, and there it is. Kyle Rogers scores his second goal of the game. Wristing that one, a right pass load. Yeah, pick the top corner there, that's a, that's a goal scorer's shot right there. It comes with five minutes left in the third. And Rogers goes one on one with the goaltender and zips it right past him. Nice pass, I didn't see who the defenseman was there, but sent him away on the breakaway. The far side goes Rogers. Maybe we'll see Kyle Rogers get a hat trick before the night's <laughs> out. Be well Rogers with a shot here, and that one's denied. In the slot, Rogers looking for the hat trick. Trying to get off uh, another shot there, but nicely defended. Hornung now with possession in the right circle, leaves that one in the slot. And Casey Rosen goes off of O'Leary. I think uh, Griffin Zach lost his glove there, was able to pick it back up. Now tied up along the corner, Gilbert. He gave Andrew Gilbert and Will Quinlan the assists. At the far side, Rogers eyeing the hat trick. Out of the near side. 3.50 in county left to go in the third period. All Hillers in this one. Three goals in the first, three in the second, one so far in the third. I mean, another full score sheet. Right. That sheet's pretty full, that's for sure. Line stock. It's into the neutral zone. And that's picked up. A hard hit there as Hornung met up with the defenseman, Sheamus. On the far side, and that one lifted by Weinstock and wrapped up by Lode. Clock will continue to run as both teams make a couple substitutions. Approaching three minutes left in this third period. The Hillers are going to improve to 9-1-1 one, and one on the season. Unbelievable. The only loss coming from Holliston, who is just on fire this season. Out in front. Nice opportunity from the blue line by Gilbert. Pretty good shot he got off. Picked up in the neutral zone by Reap. Turns it around. On the far side, Shapiro. And let's mail it. Ashland would love to avoid the shutout, that's for sure. And Kirk is working his way back into Ashland territory before the whistle. Looks like it'll be a penalty kill here for the Hillers. Running into the box is Gilbert. Well, Ashland on the power play. This is their opportunity here to uh, avoid the shutout, and the clock will stop due to the penalty. It stopped at 217. Just to ensure that Ashland gets the full power play opportunity. And now it's going to run again. Backhander by Saparoshitz. And we'll get another whistle here. Looks like we'll be back to even strength. A little high stick, Ashland. <laughs> That's really unfortunate if you're Ashland. You got power play opportunity and give it right back to even strength. John Kirk heading into the penalty box. 145 and counting. Is yeah, well, not to be lost in this game is just the uh, the outstanding play of Dylan O'Leary. You know, a 6-7-0 game, and uh, he has really been sharp. There was some really good chances. He certainly has. And here comes another one. That quick break here. O'Connor looking for the shot. Up against O'Leary, and O'Leary 
Nicely done. Able to get that leg pad down and deflect it. Abbott, or excuse me, that's Zach up the near side. O'Leary sets that one up for Saporoshitz. That was a great save by O'Leary, Eric. Yeah, he stays focused the whole game. Here comes Kyle Rogers. Long shot from the neutral zone. He's putting it up ice to allow the Hillers to switch up a couple players. Less than a minute left to go now. Here comes Tadeo. Top of the left circle. Denied by Sheamus. Nice stand up D there, taking the body. Back in Ashland territory. 40 seconds left. Clockers trying to avoid the shutout. It's 7-0 Hillers. Hopkinton going to pick up their ninth win of the season. And improve to 9-1-1. One, one. Ashland will fall to 5-5-2 five, five, overall. Still very much alive, though, in the playoff picture is Ashland. On their side. Peter Mitchell puts it back to the neutral zone and pretty much just passing the puck around here, letting that clock run out. Nail it. Back towards Shapiro. And that will do it. The Hopkinton Hillers close it out with another shutout. Their second shutout in their last five games and their fifth straight win as they defeat the Ashland Clockers seven to nothing. Eric, another impressive performance by the Hillers in this game. Any final thoughts? Yeah, just a takeaway, Tom, is that the, the Hillers have such great individual players, but they play so well as a team. that They're not out there doing it individually. They're doing it as a team, and that's what's going to take them a long way this year. It certainly will, and their roster, as we mentioned numerous times, just so deep, just an impressive amount of talent for the Hillers as they put up two goals in the first Minute 35 seconds of this game, Sean Walsh made it 1-0 with 1337 left, and then Tommy Hamblett 12 seconds later, and then they added a third from Kyle Rogers. And then in the second period, you had uh, Will Abbott record two goals, and they would add another one later in that period, and another goal added in the third. So a 7-0 victory for the Hopkinton Hillers. Another very impressive performance as they defeat their crosstown rival the Ashland Clockers. For Tom Dings on camera, for my broadcast partner Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy, and this has been Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. We thank you for joining us, and we will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your day.